All right, so when you first open the slicer, you're going to have this um, this screen right here. Okay, so what I have here is already a, um, a model that I've colored. We'll get to the AMS system here in a little bit, but first, what we're going to do is we're going to click on New Project, okay? And we're going to be given this plate. Now, to rotate the plate, you left-click and hold. To move the plate and uh, kind of just without rotating the plate is a right-click, okay? Now, on the left side are your printer settings. <clears throat> so let's start with the settings right here. So what I have is um, you can edit the preset here. So you can select which kind of uh, material you can use. So generic uh, TPU or Bamboo Labs brand um, material, okay? So if you click generic PLA, you'll get your typical settings right here, what kind of diameter it is, flow ratio, so on and so forth. Okay, now you can, um, what I just use basically is a, the Bamboo Labs PLA basic. Um, where is it? Because it has basically the same settings as a lot of the materials, okay? It'll print it at 220, um, the plate's gonna be at 35, uh, so on and so forth. It'll, it'll do the kind of plate that you have, all right? And this is the settings for the Bamboo Labs uh, X1C. All right. <clears throat> now, if we want to change something on here, now say I want to edit the preset of the plate to 60, I can just go here and type 60, right, for the first layer, so on and so forth, and blah, 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 okay. So it just gives you a warning. Uh, the bed temperature is higher for, you know, uh, the temperature for the filament. <clears throat> All it means is that it's it might um, have a nozzle blockage, but I don't foresee that happening. Okay, so we're just gonna put that back to normal. That's for the Bamboo Labs. Okay. After that, you can save it, and you can save it as a copy. Okay. For so see for this one, I have it at sixty for the cool plate. Okay. Now here you can adjust your layer height, um, so on and so forth, line width. Um, it's, it's basically your standard uh, settings for your um, for your print. Now, if you want infill, it's going to be in here, right? So you got a 15% infill. You can do your your infill pattern, so on and so forth. There, your speed is this is where you can change it. Okay. Again, that's where you can change the first layer. If you want it at 50, obviously your first layer is going to be slow because it's laying it down. As you go up, it gets way way faster right so you can print at 200 um i think i push this to um let's see if i go to my fast i can i pushed it to uh, 50 percent uh, faster for the outer wall and it still prints pretty gosh darn good so i'm just you know staying here at standard and then this is where you print your support <clears throat> now you want to enable support when you do that and that's where you can um, paint your supports on, okay? So <clears throat> we'll get there in a little bit. And then others, uh, skirt loops, that's where you have your brim, uh, prime tower, all that shenanigans, all right? So this is just going to be a basic rundown of your slicer. We're not going to get too in-depth into it, all right? All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to drop, we're just going to drag and drop this file here. Um, what I have is this Iron Man MK50 faceplate. Now, up here is your presets for, I'm not sure, not, not presets, but your commands for the object, okay? So this is rotate, this is scale, and this is lay on face, um, and this is, you can even cut in here, okay? I don't normally cut in um, the slicer, but you can in this case. So I'm just gonna click this object, and I'm gonna rotate it, on the x-axis right here and I'm going to stand it up like just like so actually I want to tilt it just a little bit like that okay now when you click out right so if I click on the object it brings up the menu and I click out it closes it okay so say I wanted to do supports so I'm going to click on this this lining right here this uh, icon is the supports so I'm going to click on that, and I'm, this menu is going to pop up. 
Now your pen size is how you're gonna paint your supports, okay? So what I like to do is I like to increase my pen and I'm just gonna left click and hold and it's gonna paint where supports are gonna go. So that's all I'm doing. Look how much easier this is than all the other slicers. And that's how we paint on supports. Now there's a certain setting for your supports on the menu that you guys want to do rather than just supports, okay? Now see look how I um, accidentally added menu uh, supports there. I can press and hold shift and left click and that's going to erase that. So press and hold shift to erase that and click on hold. There you go. And look, there's a bunch of supports there that I don't want. I'm just gonna increase my pen and erase all that stuff that I don't want. Okay. Now when I go to support, I want it to be normal because there's normal auto and then there's normal. When I do normal, that's when the command is going to use the supports that you used. Okay, I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. So when I click slice, it's going to do this. All right, so see how it did the supports where we painted it on. If you would have done the normal auto supports, this entire thing would be full of supports, right? Under the eyes, all that, okay? So normal and normal auto are two completely different things, okay? To make sure you guys remember that. Now you can print from here or you can ex export sliced um, file into your SD card that it comes, but you can print it'll take it straight to the machine. All right. Now to go back, all you got to do is go up to this tab, go back to prepare and you can start all over again. And if you do their normal auto, it'll give you supports everywhere. So, um, now let's talk about scale. When you click on scale, you can take this and drag, make it as big or as small as you want. You can, you know, pull it and you can make it look like that, right? And if you press control Z, it'll bring it back to normal, right? The blue will scale everything. The red, the green, and the blue, or the dark blue, if you will, will scale it just on that axis, okay? Which is very handy for scaling. Say you have a like a fat face or a skinny face, right? If you're super skinny, you can do it like that. And you can do it like so, okay? No, look, he looks like a predator. All right. So that is your basic slicing software um, rundown for the Bamboo Labs um, slicer. That's really all that I use personally. I don't use any of the other stuff. Um, in the next video, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the AMS and, pre and, and add stuff to your filament where you can have different, different colors. So I'm going to... Um, end this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.